Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown and a warm welcome to the How To Cameron channel and today I want to talk about some of my unpopular opinions. I think I've made some videos similar to this, but this video will be better, I promise. I have a lot of unpopular opinions, could you believe it? Wow, it's crazy to believe that Papa Cameron has unpopular opinions. I, I have a lot of unpopular opinions and I just want to mention that just because an opinion is unpopular and just because you get hate for having a certain opinion, that doesn't mean that your opinion is wrong. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person for believing that. So just because these are unpopular opinions that I hold, it does not mean that I'm a bad person. Guys, I'm a really good person. Uh, that is factual. So let me start off this video by talking about some unpopular opinions. Hopefully some of them will be quite interesting. Uh, I doubt they will be, but without further ado, let's start off the video. Smash like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new today, leave me a comment. I want to know whether or not you guys agree with my opinions or whether or not you disagree with some of my opinions. Leave some of your unpopular opinions in the comments. I want to read them. I'm excited to read about them. So number one, my first unpopular opinion. Trains are the best. Period. Okay, I don't know what it is about trains. But why do I have to start it off so sad? I don't know. But trains are so underrated. Like, I don't even believe it. Like, if you talk to anyone about trains, they'll literally look at you like you're a loser. No, 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 don't look at me like that. Okay, trains are flipping cool. And the reason why no one likes trains is because the train operator companies, cross country, East Midlands trains, God, I'm Northern. You lot give a bad reputation to trains. Trains are sick. Anyone watching this video who has nothing to do with their life, search up train spotting on Instagram, hashtag train spotting, and you, oh my God, open your mind, and oh my God, you'll see some of the best looking trains ever. Literally, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna do it for you. So look, we have this hashtag. Look at these trains. Shut up. Are you telling me that's an ugly train? Look at that train. Focus, please. Look at that. Can you guys please tell me that that train is not cool? Look how sick it looks. Trains are so underrated. I don't even care what people say. They're fast. They sound cool. They, they're comfy. Like, what's wrong with the damn trains? Nothing. So please respect them more. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this video has taken a turn for the worst already. Number two. A lot of people say that height does not matter how tall you are. It doesn't matter whether or not you're tall or short. Stop talking about height, no one cares. At the end of the day, the people who say that are the people who will criticize and make fun of my teeth, for example. They'll make fun of my hairline, for example. I was at school one day, someone asked Cameron, how tall are you? I answered, and someone said, oh, no one cares about your height, stop talking about it, you're so obsessed. Literally, I answered one question that someone else asked me. And I was thinking to myself, okay, fine, you, you say that height doesn't matter. So because obviously you can't change it, like it's something about you that you can't change and can't, it's not your choice pretty much because everyone would choose to be goddamn 20 foot tall probably. He said it like that and I was like, okay, fine, that makes a little bit of sense. But the same guy has made fun of my hairline and also my teeth. When I last checked, you can't change your hairline without surgery and your teeth it's not even the gap that he was making fun of, it was more just how my teeth are weird. Like, I was honestly thinking to myself, you can't change them two things without putting in a lot of effort. It's the same with height. Why does that matter? You know, why does it matter how my teeth and hairline look, but not my height? How does that even make any sense? And the bottom line is, height is important. And it sucks that it's important because it's something that you don't choose. You know, I know I'm tall myself, it's just... A natural thing. It's like how some people take pride in having a good hairline. Some people take pride in having good eyes. You know, good shoulder width. Me here. No, I'm joking. My body's not in proportion. It's actually really depressing. On a real note though, people who say height does not matter are most of the time lying. Uh, it's funny how most of the people who say that are short and lie about the height. Just saying. So that statement is completely invalid. That's not even an unpopular opinion. That's just an unpopular fact. Okay? Number three, PewDiePie is extremely overrated nowadays. I used to love watching PewDiePie. I used to love watching his content so much. Until like this whole PewDiePie versus T-Series phenomenon, I can't speak, shut up, arrived, uh, ar aroused. 
No, that's the wrong word, god dang it. I used to love watching PewDiePie's content because it used to be very anti-mainstream. Like, I'm not saying that he never followed trends because he did, but like, his content was a bit weird, it was a bit peculiar, that, that was the interesting thing about PewDiePie, and he seemed to do it because he actually really enjoyed doing it. Nowadays, it just seems like he's milking YouTube. Like, he does loads of sponsored videos, his videos have a lot of mid-roll ads, even though he's completely loaded. And lastly, like, the topics that he makes his videos on are extremely... They're obviously gonna get views, it's like reacting to Dr. Phil. Like, they're not even bad videos, he's not unfunny, I still watch him sometimes. But I've just lost respect in him because honestly, you know, PewDiePie was way better when he wasn't so concerned about making money. It's so obvious that PewDiePie is going out of his way to make content to make money. You know, he used to do meme review videos, which used to get less views. Uh, he used to do like book review videos. He stopped doing that. He used to do like whiskey videos. He used to do loads of random content, content that he was very interested in doing. But he's very much deterred from that and only focused on mainstream stuff that will get views or get money in his pocket. And because of that, I've just lost respect for PewDiePie. I mean, it's not like I hate the guy, I don't. I think he's a fine person. I mean, I still watch his videos sometimes, but I used to love him a lot more. And on top of that, I feel like he's way too mainstream nowadays. Like, I remember a couple of years ago, no one talked about him in person uh, at school, for example, but he was very popular on YouTube. Nowadays, he's just so popular, like, at school and everywhere. Like, you always hear about PewDiePie. I feel like if people are always talking about him around me, when I don't choose to watch him, I just get bored of hearing about him <laughs> at the end of the day. I feel like that's how people see me at school. People talk about me all the time and they're bored of me and they're bored of my channel so they never actually give it a good judgement. That's why no one likes my videos from school. <laughs> that's definitely the reason, guys. It's not because I roast everyone and everything. Urgh. Number four, Theresa May is not a bad Prime Minister. Okay, let me reword that. She's not that bad, okay? In terms of her personality, she's very dry, she's very boring, and she's not a very strong leader. The only thing that I think she's done wrong is Brexit, and I don't even think she messed up Brexit herself. I honestly think that if anyone was in government, heaven forbid if it was Jeremy Corbyn, I think it would go worse than it actually is now. I think the issue that's arised from Brexit is everyone disagrees with each other in Parliament, regardless of political uh, affiliation. And on top of that, I feel like the EU itself is way too strict on the UK in terms of leaving the EU. Because of that, I just think there's no way we can leave the EU comfortably, which is what a lot of Remainers said you know, on the run up to the vote. Honestly, I don't think there's any way that Brexit could work smoothly. Everyone will always disagree with each other. That's just how it will work. There are lots of arguments to stay in the EU, lots of arguments to leave the EU. Well, I say lots, there are a good amount to leave the EU. I think there's more to stay, but that's my own opinion, I guess. Uh, another unpopular opinion, <laughs> lol. Honestly, if there was a second referendum, I'm sure that we wouldn't leave the EU. Just saying, but you know, that won't happen because Labour will go ape shit at Theresa May if she did actually enforce that. But on a real note though, she's not that bad, I don't think. Like, besides Brexit, she's all right. I mean, she's done good for this country. The country's doing well. Economy-wise, the country was doing great before all this Brexit commotion occurred. Number six, Jake Paul's videos aren't that bad. I'm not even lying. I I've watched almost every single one of Jake Paul's latest videos. And honestly, his videos, they're not even bad. Like, I kid you not, like, his latest video, the main concept of the video is Jake Paul has to say yes to mini Jake Paul. And honestly, the video is funny. It's really weird because obviously his content's intended more for kids, but it's still entertaining because there are adult themes related with the video. And generally speaking, I don't think Jake Paul's vlogs, they're nowhere near as bad as what they used to be. And I don't think anyone gives Jake Paul credit. Honestly, I do feel bad for Jake Paul. Well, if it wasn't for the gambling thing, I'd feel bad for Jake Paul. Quite frankly, after he did the gamble scam, like, if he didn't scam his fans by advertising a betting company that profits off kids pretty much using all their mum's money from like a damn credit card on falsely advertised odds. If he didn't do that, I, I would like the guy and I honestly would want him to succeed. Right now, I, I don't want him to, but I just feel like Jake Paul has fell so hard from grace. Like he used to literally get 400 million views a month. He used to gain millions of subscribers a month. And now, you know, he got 100 million views last month and he only gained not even 200,000 subs. So clearly his channel was very much declined. And on top of that, it's more his friends and family and everything. Like, he's had so many issues. I actually feel really bad for him. He literally hangs around with completely different people nowadays. 
people who he doesn't even know that well. He keeps bringing up his ex. Like Jesus Christ, I thought I was bad. I mean, I don't, I don't remember if I mentioned her for a while. I don't, I don't care honestly. But like, on a real note, though, Jake Paul mentions her all the time. It's very clear that Jake Paul, he's a bit rocky emotionally and I do feel bad for him I don't think he's very happy he's made a lot of jokes about being depressed and being down but I actually think he is very depressed and down and because of that I want to give him the benefit of the doubt uh, with the gambling scam and I want him to actually do well on YouTube I'm not even gonna lie but at the end of the day if he comes back with the same mannerisms that he used to have a couple of years back never mind <laughs> you know anyway guys again this video here obviously six unpopular opinions it's a bit of a weird number I guess but shut up. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Smash the like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. Leave me a comment. What videos do you want me to make? And let's all have a good Monday. I love Monday. It's my favourite day. The It's Tuesday, isn't it? The next day after this video is uploaded. Crap. Have a good week.